When the self-driving is engaged and it actually recognizes the road, it works pretty well. I would say if you happen to be sitting in traffic driving home and you need some assistance driving home, this is the way to go. You turn it on, set the speed limit you want to go, and it's going to basically, the adaptive cruise control is going to follow the vehicle in front of you. When it stops, you're going to stop. Yes, it will even come to a full and complete stop, and it will also start going. Now, if that stop happens to be for an extended period of time, it identifies that it has been stopped, and it's going to ask you to hit the accelerator pedal or click a button in order to accelerate. I'm currently driving in the conserve mode, so it's very slow to accelerate, and I think for a very good reason, it's trying to conserve on the range. And when it brakes, I feel, I can, I see a fast brake coming on. Oh, makes me a little nervous. That wasn't too bad at all. I actually have the, can you see my finger here? I'm touching the steering wheel. I have the setting to the closest vehicle. So the closest setting, because when you're in traffic jam like this, you want it to be really close. Otherwise, these cars from other lanes will cut in and you're essentially gonna continue to slow down every single car that cuts in. Yeah, I need to put my hand on the steering wheel as I drive here. So I like to keep it in that mode and it does pretty well. It also has the ultrasonic sensors that identify when the cars are on the side of you. And I feel overall they did a pretty good job with the uh, software development and uh, the usability uh, and user experience, I guess, for the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep and lane assist when you are in traffic. Now, if you happen to be driving on a road and it's not supported or magically you're driving on a long road trip and it doesn't recognize a road, you have to take action pretty quick. And on my long road trip I've done recently, that's happened multiple times. I'm in the adaptive cruise control, I'm in the lane assist, lane keep, and all of a sudden, boom, it just doesn't recognize the road and now you've got to take over. And I didn't know it was happening the first time that happened. And you basically have to push this up, the the, uh, the lever here, you have to push up and then touch the steering wheel, then it you have to uh, push the accelerator, push the brake, whatever it tells you to do in order to identify that you have control of the vehicle. That's really weird. I, I don't know why it does that and I would like to get some more information but otherwise, if it's on a road, there's traffic in front of you, the, the roads are marked really well, it's not construction. So take a look at this road here. There used to be some sort of line here and they exited it out or they crossed it out and they did some renovations. That's no problem. But when you get into roads that have construction and lines all over, you need to make sure that you're in control and you're driving the vehicle because the adaptive cruise control uh, becomes a little, little scary at that point. Overall, great experience.